Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another uh, Marvel Legends, another Spider-Man review. So, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of Tom, of, uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man figures. And I don't even have them all. There's like one or two that are missing that I don't have yet. But we'll try to get it eventually. So, you know, obviously I have all these. So what's one more for the pile? So we're doing another No Way Home figure. We're doing the uh, end of movie Spider-Man suit. Where, you know, obviously swinging around New York at the end of the film. And this box wants to fall down. But anyways, we're going to the usual stuff. Take them out of the box, compare them. Maybe compare them with the other Tom Holland figures. See how it goes. See how the face sculpt looks. Should be pretty good, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so these are trying to show up in stores, or I got this one through Amazon, just came in this week, so uh anyway, let's take a look at the box. Or the bubbles, the bubble card, whatever. Uh, so much like the uh Matt Murdock figure we've already done, you know, it just happens to have the same card back, it's no way home on the top. Uh, the three spies on the side, it's just plain Spider Man on the bottom. And you know, with no display, show everything that comes with the figure on the back. The uh, picture we've seen of with the other figure. Little uh, text here to explain what Spidey's doing. Whatever. Not too much, but anyways, there it is, nice and simple. You know, obviously plastic makes is making a comeback because people are pissed about it. So uh, yeah, there you go. Let's uh, take them out of the package and take a look at them. We have the figure out of the package looking very cool. Spot on to the end of the movie. Uh, the suit itself looking, you know, definitely influenced by the uh, other two Spideys he was hanging out with through most of it. You know, he changed it up a little bit. Somewhat similar to the old uh, Stark outfit, but, uh, you know, then again, more comic accurate, right? Uh, the blue on here is shiny, but I think it's a bit shinier in the movie. Am I right? I like how, you know, the web is, the web is recessed in all these figures, but I like how they actually put the black in. So, you know, you know that's one problem I've had with some Spidey figures in the past. Nice uh, logo. We'll talk about that later. Uh, logo in the front there. Definitely no more comic accurate. I just wonder where his web shooter's at, you know. Now he's got the web shooters, but, you know, usually they're outside of the costume. But still... Pretty solid figure, and that's a pretty solid Tom Holland head. We'll uh, compare him with some other Tom Holland heads later on, but, you know, pretty solid, nice representation of the, the suit of the last few minutes of the movie, so there you go. So he comes with a decent amount of accessories. Would have liked if he came with some webbing, but it is what it is. I got plenty of webs, so I could probably do something with that. Anyways, obviously comes with another head besides the Tom Holland head. So the Spidey head, pretty solid looking. Uh, Somewhat similar to the Spidey heads we've seen, but a little bit different because obviously it's a tweaked outfit. Has three different pairs of hands. Uh, I put on the uh, open hand for this pose, otherwise he has a pair of fists. And he has a pair of thwips. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty fair amount of accessories. Pretty nice, pretty cool. Okay, let's do some... Uh, Articulation testing. We'll try to get my thumb out of the way this time. So uh, his head goes back that far, goes forward that far, all the way around. Um, tilt, tilt. So arm goes up that far, all the way around. Bicep rotation, double joint, the elbow, wrist rotation back and forth. He has a butterfly hinge that you know I, I always appreciate for these Spidey figures. So that's pretty cool. Uh, he has a diaphragm can bend it to the right that far, to the left that far. This is the way I'm assuming it's his right, my left. Can bend back that far, can bend fed for that far, because he has that uh, bend at the waist too. I can't really rotate at the waist, but that is what it is, I guess. Legs apart that far, go forward and back that far. Uh, rotation to thigh, double joint the knee. No boot rotation, but he has ankle pivoting back and forth, so should be able to get some decent uh, Spidey poses out, right? Try to get a quick one out before we go. So as often as I do with these Spidey figures, I gotta put them through at least one McFarlane pose or a McFarlane-esque pose, see how it looks. I'm, I'm just working from memory, just, you know, I don't feel like, like pulling out one of the books and doing it, but looks pretty cool, I guess. 
I'm sure I probably could have made him look a little bit better, but it is what it is, guys. So I just discovered he actually has a, a different point, a new point of articulation that I never noticed before. He has the, there's a little hinge right in there where he can actually move the leg up and down. So that's kind of cool. So it helps probably with the, you know, obviously the spider posing. So that's awesome. And just compare the three, I pulled out your Andrew Garfield and your Tobey Maguire from the uh, Hasbro Pulse three pack that was released earlier this year. And uh, pretty much, you know, obviously it's definitely inspired by the other two suits. And uh, you can tell by the logo, you know, he did take inspiration from both these two. And, you know, kind of created a nice amalgamation. I don't know why I'm turning him around, he doesn't want to stand up, but whatever, it is what it is. It's still pretty solid, pretty cool. He is a, a bit of a brighter red and brighter blue than the other two, but still looks like it can fit pretty, pretty decently, right? Okay, so we have all four of the Tom Holland heads that I have. Uh, not much difference between your uh, these two ones, but I'm not a fan of the happy-go-lucky one. That one's, you know, a solid... They're all solid resemblances, okay? But uh, I like... Uh, these two are more or, less, more or less the same thing, I think. I might be wrong, but I think it, you know it's along the same lines, but I don't know. I like that one a little bit more. Just I think the paint apps are a little bit better, a little lighter. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments, whatever. Fantastic figure. I dig him. Uh, you know, it's, it's really hard to screw up a Spider-Man as long as you put in the articulation, the... Uh, movement ability to make him, you know, do the Spider-Man like poses, then, you know, you have my, you know, the attention and you have my approval. So, uh, yeah, pretty solid. You can do the Spider-Man poses uh, all day you want, if you want. You know, obviously that's what I look for for the Spider-Man trigger. Can you do the poses? Can you do a McFarlane thing? And, and if you can, you have my seal approval. So, uh, if you can find him, you know, why not put him in your collection? Obviously, you know, I have that Tom Holland collection, so we're going to put him in there. Uh, I'm not going to put a Tom Holland head on this because more you don't really see it at the end of the movie with his mask off. We'll probably I'll see about trying to find another figure, put a Tom Holland head on, you know, make him look like a Peter Parker. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but for right now, you know, the, the wave is out there, so I'll go out and find it. Uh, if you can find it on Amazon, you know, pre-sale kind of sold out. Uh, has repulse, I don't know if that sold out, but you know, you can take a shot and see what happens. Anyways, but you know, I'm glad to have it. I am looking forward to the other figures in the wave, so see how that goes. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you did like it. If you did, you know, do the usual stuff, like, subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you so much, and if you, Want to be too much trouble? Maybe share a link. You know, if you like what I'm doing, you know, say, hey, watch this guy, see what he's doing. And if you like, you know, whatever. So that's it. Like I said, uh, more new way, no way home figures coming. You know, getting through that. Got some more uh, figures from other ways, for other uh, companies, whatever. Trying to get through them, trying to get these done. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, thank you again. This is James Sharmack from the Nerd Room with J&J, &J, and as always, keep on collecting and happy hunting.